What's going on everyone? It's Coach Angelo here. And in today's video, I'm gonna put you through an at-home shoulder and arm workout. Now, this workout is gonna be a little bit more advanced and we're gonna be using a little bit more equipment. But if you don't have access to a lot of equipment in your house, that's totally fine. I do have some other videos on my channel with simpler workouts that you could do with minimum equipment. I'm gonna have that in the description down below for your reference. Now, before we begin the workout, subscribe to my channel down below, hit that bell button. This way you'll be notified when I post another at-home workout or I usually post fitness educational videos or food recipe videos on my channel. Before we begin the workout, we're gonna do two simple and quick, easy shoulder warm-ups that you could follow along with. If you guys missed my how-to videos, I'm gonna link them above right over here or in the description down below. So I have two videos. One of them is how to increase shoulder mobility and stability. And my other how-to video, is how to warm up properly before any pressing movements. So as you can see, we have a resistance band right over here. We're gonna do a few shoulder warm up drills. We're gonna warm up with the treadmill for five minutes and then we're gonna crush the workout. So let's kill it. Okay, so the very first exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna mimic a rear delt pec deck fly. So we have our resistance band. We're gonna hook it up to my treadmill and then we're gonna grab it to the handles, go into the bench right here, sit down. And then from here, retract your scapula, look up and then go back. Try to go as far back as you can just like this. So we're gonna go for 15 to 20 reps. And as soon as we're done, we're gonna go straight to rows, just like this. And then, then we're gonna grab a plate right here. And then we're gonna do front raise, just like this. I'll move this way so you guys can see, just right here. So we're gonna do 10 to 15 reps of this. So we're gonna do two warm up sets and then three for working sets. So let's begin. All right, so the second exercise we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing barbell overhead press. So we're gonna do one set of the bar then we're gonna add a 25 pound plate on each side, do a set of probably eight to 10. And I think the working set that we're gonna go up to today is probably 105 for maybe three sets of 10 to 12. So let's get in position for the first set. So unrack. So make sure when you're doing this exercise, keep the core tight, avoid hyperextending when you're pressing. So keep the core tight, nice and engaged, and then press right above your head. So you wanna make sure when you're pressing, don't press in front of you. You wanna make sure when you're pressing, everything is in line. So think about it, your arm should be in line towards your ear. So everything should be in a straight bar path. So you're gonna come down, nice control, and then press up. Come down and press, just like that. So make sure you do this, don't hyperextend your back. Keep your core tight. If you're doing a straight press, you're not gonna be using any momentum for your legs and doing leg drive. So you're just gonna be nice control and press right here. So let's do two more warm-up sets, then work up to the working set. All right, so we did two warm-up sets. Now we're working up to our working set. So we have 105 on the bar. Last week, we got one set of 10. The second set we got eight and the third set we got seven. So for today, I wanna to try to get all three sets in between 10 to 12 reps. So let's begin. And a quick tip, easy way to grab this, make sure you grab it inside shoulder width. And usually what I like to do is I like to have my thumbs pointing down first. So I align right where I'm gonna grab it, thumbs pointing down. So this way, when you grab into the bar, you can lock in position 
and the bar is just in line with your you know bone. This is gonna help you make sure that you generate a lot more force when you're pressing and the bar is not sitting like this or your wrist is bending because you're not gonna be able to optimally generate force. You wanna make sure you're like this. So we get into position right here, lock in tight, and then twist the wrist in, unrack, step back, brace the core, and align towards your ears. First set of 10 is done, two more sets. All right, so the second exercise we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing a superset. So we're gonna superset Arnold press, so seated dumbbell Arnold press, with standing, band, side laterals. So for the overhead press, last week I actually did four sets. So the first two, last week I got 10, and then I got six and five. For this week, I got two sets of 10, the third set I got nine, and the last set I got six. And then I dropped, I did with just the dumbbell standing, I did a drop set of that. So let's begin. So what you're gonna do, grab yourself some dumbbells, get yourself a bench, and with Arnold press, you're gonna start this position right here, you're gonna rotate, and then press up. And then go down, in, like that. So we're gonna do 10 to 12, and then we're gonna grab the band. We're gonna stand on it. Hopefully you guys can see my full body. Try to bend down a little bit so you can see. So we're gonna go with the band right here. Side lateral raises. We're gonna do as many as we can. Try to go between 10 to 15. So same concept, we're gonna do one warm up and then three working sets. We got two sets done. So now we're gonna go on our final set. We up the weight by five pounds and we up the resistance band by 10. And you know, at this point in the workout, when you start getting sweat, the sweater gotta come off. All right, let's kill this last set. You see, we went to failure, auto press 10, and then we did four just straight sets. Now, last set of side laterals. Okay, the last set that we're gonna do for shoulders, we're gonna do bent over, dumbbell, weird out flies, and then we're gonna superset that with barbell, so upright rows. So let's begin. So with this, you wanna make sure you're going light with this exercise because your rear delt or your posterior delt is a small muscle. So you don't wanna go heavy where you're using a lot of momentum. Go lighter in the dumbbell and really focus on the contraction. So right here, and then squeeze at the top. Nice control. So once we get, we're gonna go for 10 to 15 and then we're gonna drop and then we're gonna go straight to the bar. I'm gonna grab a wider grip for this. And then we're gonna do upright rows. So the wider you go on your grip, you're really gonna focus on hitting that medium deltoid. So right here, and then boom, nice control. So we're gonna do three sets of this, 12 to 15 reps each, and then move to arms. So now we're gonna move on to arms. So the first superset that we're gonna be doing, we're gonna do close grip bench press, and we're gonna superset this with single arm seated dumbbell curls. So the way we're gonna do the dumbbell curls is we're gonna hold one right here in an isometric hold, and the other one, we're gonna wrap it out, 10 reps, and then we're gonna switch. So let's begin. Now the 
very last workout that we're gonna do for arms. So we're gonna do band, so overhead tricep extension, and then we're gonna superset that with barbell reverse curls. So for this, we're gonna grab the handles like this. We're gonna go in position, elbows high up. Hopefully you guys are able to see me right here. And then from here, we're gonna extend, lock the elbows, and then control. Lock the elbows, control. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna superset with barbell reverse curls. So we're gonna grab the barbell like this. We're gonna do thumbless grip. So we're really isolating that superficialis and really hitting the forearms hard. So right here, and then nice control, squeeze, go down. Squeeze, go down, nice control. So we're gonna do three sets, 12 to 15 reps. And then we're done the workout. Woo! Woo! Arms are pumped after that. Jeez. And that's the workout, everyone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up down below. And make sure to, again, subscribe to my channel if you want to see other home workouts like this, or I usually post some fitness educational videos or food recipe videos on my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.